Hi there, welcome to a weekend Sunday evening cleaning. I'm going to take you through everything I did this Sunday that is in my normal rotation of chores. Started a little earlier in the evening, so let's go through what I did. So the very first thing that I'm starting off with here is putting some clothes online and selling them. So what I've done, and I'm recording this process of clothes that I want to get rid of, but basically I have a pile of my clothes and then I use Notion to write out descriptions of the clothes before I put them on like a Depop or Poshmark. Anybody who sells these clothes online knows how annoying it is and what a hassle it is to copy and paste and put all the information over. So I just like to break up the process by typing out some notes on the clothing items first, figuring out like how I want to price them and everything, and then I'll batch upload them. And then every Sunday I need to wash my bed sheets. It's just weekly chore for me. I feel like after a week they start to get a little dirty. I know some people might go longer, but a week is my preference. So here I'm just stripping the sheets and take off my silk pillowcases and then take off the bottom sheet. And then while the bed is stripped, I'm just going in with a damp cloth here and wiping down the headboard. It is like a metal headboard, so it's easy to clean that way and just something I like to do on a weekly basis as well. And I don't do this every week, but I am taking my vacuum here and just wiping or vacuuming the baseboards behind the bed because it can get a little dusty and dog hair and everything gathers there. And then I will typically do this as well. I am just vacuuming the mattress pad and usually once a season, I will wash the mattress pad. So just getting some extra dog hair off that. All right, so this here is like the big project that I had to do this weekend. I really needed to clean up the entryway of our apartment. Um, it just got super cluttered and crowded over the week, maybe past couple weeks. And I think one of the most difficult things I need to deal with is finding out an organ or a better organizational system here. Like I said, things just gather throughout the week here and there's just a lot of stuff that I don't necessarily want to get rid of. So the best way for me to go about that is to literally take everything out, evaluate it, and then put it back in. And while in that evaluating process, I'm just going to wipe everything down that I can. I'm just doing like this little side black thing for now instead of that entryway table because I kind of went through the stuff there recently. And then I'm just giving the space a good vacuum vacuuming. <laughs> and it's not even super cold yet here, but we do have our winter coats out, but I'm just taking everything off so that I can reorganize it in a little bit of a better system. My apartment doesn't have an entryway closet, unfortunately, so this acts as our closet, but if we had a coat closet, this is where those things would go. But for now, they're here at the front. We're in like that weird in-between season where we still need like lighter layers. But like I said, we have the heavy layers out. So everything there is just kind of like mix up of things but anyways here I am putting everything back where it belongs putting those paper towels in the front putting the shoes back and trying to make it look as neat as possible but yeah there it is all done looking better definitely better now we can like actually walk through without tripping on anything. There's a side by side. I can tell the difference. Maybe you can't. It's after dinner at this point, so I'm going to go ahead and clean up the kitchen. Putting on my gloves so my hands don't get super dry after this process. Just loading up the dishwasher here. 
and then hand washing all of the things that I don't like to put in the dishwasher, like our bigger colander, um, tongs, and of course the air fryer. That can't go in the dishwasher, so just giving it a good scrub here. After that water gets all over behind the sink and on the counter so I'm giving that a quick wipe down with just a cloth and then going over to the island countertop and also wiping that down for the night. So sheets are clean, we are back to the bed, and I'm just making the bed. I struggled putting this bottom sheet on for a second. You know the tag is on the right hand side, but I still get it wrong. I don't know. We still have these light layers out, we don't have the comforter out at this point because of the, the fall weather right now. Actually it was super hot this weekend. So we're just keeping that thin sheet on top without a comforter inside. And then putting some fresh pillowcases on. I feel like this is important. If you're not going to change your bed sheets, I would at least change your pillowcases once a week if you can. And then we just have this blanket that goes on top. Now just doing a what I call regular load of laundry, which is just like t-shirts, socks, undergarments, and like pants so like not towels or blankets or anything in this load just like regular clothes not jeans either i separate those out if you're interested in knowing my laundry routine leave me a comment and i can go through it here's our little washer dryer in the bathroom and i'm just vacuuming up some pet hair that was there before loading everything in pet hair just gets everywhere in this area so loading everything again, pulling out the vacuum, <laughs> finding some more things to clean up, I guess. And then even cleaning the laundry container. Okay, finally, we're adding some detergents and then we're gonna start up the washer. Start the washing process, thanks. And then again, something I do on a weekly basis is clean the bathroom. I'm only going to show myself cleaning the sink and mirror here for now, but again, something I can do later is a full bathroom cleaning routine if you're interested. But for now, just spraying the mirror with Windex and then using some type of Lysol spray on the sink and wiping everything down, getting all the hairs and everything. And then I ended up going in this like little hole thing and getting all these specks of dirt out. Pretty nasty, pretty gnarly. Then putting everything back after it was all dry. This was a couple minutes later. Now our laundry's done, so we're gonna fold it. I either love or hate to do this. There's like no in between, really. I just kind of categorize everything. Um, so it makes it easier to put everything away. And that is it for the evening. We're gonna enjoy a quick glass of sangria that I made the night before. Just pouring that into a little mason jar. I'm just gonna have a little cup, just a little bit as a treat. I think I deserved it. Added some rosemary there, fresh rosemary. Yeah, pretty good. A little cinnamony, a little fall. But yeah, that's it for this Sunday evening clean. Thank you for coming along with me and hope to see you on the next cleaning routine.